friends, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? I am sweating like my ex when the police used to knock on the door. I've got a jumper on. I do have a fan on, but I will not take my jumper off because it looks cute. I'd rather die of exhaustion and sweat leakage than take this jumper off. I'm the type of person that would rather break my arm carrying six bags of shopping in than do two trips. Can I get a like for that? Can I get a like? So today I have, uh, I have an unboxing. I, I, do you know what? I find, I think I'm really awkward at unboxings. Oh my God. It's not like I can sweat my brows off today. We could end up playing noughts and crosses on my face though. So it's my birthday this month. I've been feeling a little bit down, you know, a little bit like meh. Being self-employed is as much fun as I thought it would be. But it's so much harder than I thought it would be. I do not regret quitting my job in the slightest. It's just, it's been a bit of an eye opener. I don't think I'm grown up enough to, to pay my own bills, to be honest. So that's been getting me down a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm working, I'm doing my videos. Hey, I'm here. But just know inside, I am a hamster running on a wheel. And I'm running one way, the wheel's going the other way. And I'm trying to stay on, but I'm just so close to going like this when the little hamster's gonna just spin and fall off and... <sighs> so for my birthday, I asked, um, I was a bit cheeky, and I asked for a pair of new boots. I love to have Depop clear, clear outs. But follow my Instagram, because I always post on my stories like, ah, I'm selling all my shiz. And I just got rid of loads of my shoes, I gave loads to my friends. I'm a bit of a shoe hoe bag. Knee-high boots get me wet under the collar, you know what I'm saying? I think it's really good for my mental health to have big clear outs, big fresh starts. I like, this girl likes a fresh start. She likes a New Year's resolution that she'll do for five days and then forget about. I now only have, I have my new rocks, I have, I have my, my knee high new rocks, my ankle new rocks, I have some Doc Martens, which are the reason I, I'll talk about that in a second, and I have like one or two other pairs of like fancy shoes, or a pair of some, I can't remember, I haven't got many shoes. So I wear Doc Martens pretty much they're my like everyday shoe, they're what I just, because I don't have to bend out, I don't have to do any laces up or anything, just slide my foot in, go do the school run and come back. They were my work shoes that I used to wear when I worked at the pub and they've become my lazy boots. I've worn them so much now that they are starting to get holes in the sole at the bottom. I'm, I'm sorry Doc Martens, I have noticed a decline in the quality of your shoes. So my mum was a bit of a hippie when I was growing up and I wore Doc Martens all the time. When I was a kid, they had Doc, they had kids Doc Martens that had like Smarties all over them and flowers. I only wore Doc Martens growing up. So I know the quality of Doc Martens. I'm not saying like I'm a Doc Martens expert. <laughs> Dr. Martin is not my gynecologist, but I know the quality of Doc Martens and I know that they, the pair that I got, I mean, I think I only got that pair like two years ago and we've been in lockdown for a year so I haven't worn them for a whole year and they already have holes in the bottom of the sole. That never used to happen. Basically I'm not impressed with Dog Martens anymore and it's sad. it saddens me. So I needed a new pair of like everyday boots and I was looking at Demonia. I haven't had Demonias in Yes, I love Demonia. But again, I was asking questions online, does anyone have these boots? And loads of people said that Demonia have also gone downhill. So I thought, do you know what? Do you know what? For my birthday, I don't want to go Doc Martens again. I want something a bit fancier for everyday boots. So I'll ask Ben to get me some Demonias, because then if they're shit, I didn't pay for them. Yeah, win win woo! I wanted some littler platform ones, but not normal f f f f no platform boots because I'm 4'11, so I like a little bit of a platform. And then I found these boots. And then I realised they were called Emily. And I was like, oh my god, it's a sign from the shoe gods of hell. I needed them. And I asked in my little Facebook group, that and weird, does anyone have them? And I think, oh, I can't remember now, I think one person said they had them. And, and, they were really w and they were really well made. And I asked Ben for those boots for my birthday. And they came. And he gave them to me early because I've been being a depressed little field mouse for the last few days. He's like, oh, just take your shoes and piss off. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Love you. So, I got shoes, guys. I got shoes. First impressions. Oh, my God. This box is bigger than my fist. They're very heavy. Like, it's been a long time since I've had heavy boots. So I've got my new rocks, which are platforms and with the big springs, spring sole. But they are so light. They're, they look like the big monster 
Mike Wazowski boots, but they're actually really, really light and comfortable. These already feel heavier than my Uruks. So I'm gonna open them and I'm gonna tell you all about them, see if they're good. Uh, one problem I have with shoes in general, boots, is I have very wide calves. Don't know why. Maybe I was a runner in a former life. So I need boots that can fit around my thickness. These look like, on the picture, they look like they had adjustable buckles on them. So I'm hoping that they're not like stitched on and or fake buckles. I'm hoping that they work and they don't, and I don't, and I, do you know what? I'm so scared. I get so scared buying boots. But, but let's just, let's just open them. Ugh. Do you know what? I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting a new, I was gonna make a Chris Motionless joke there about ripping off his pants. But I've got a slightly new celebrity crush now, who ironically looks exactly like Chris Motionless. Now it's Rhea Ripley. Now I'm like, oh my god, it's Chris Motionless with tears. Hi. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm attacked by, oh, attacked by a broken, a broken elastic band. It's not a good start. I think he ordered these from Attitude Clothing, and I don't know how much they were, but demonias are expensive. Oh, oh, I can tell you how much they are because it's got the paper. Emily heart buckle boots. Emily does heart buckle boots. She does. They were, oh my goodness, with shipping, they were 118 pounds and 98 little pennies. 120 quid, basically. That's a lot. Ben must really love me. I mean, who wouldn't want this as a wife, really? Come on. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you how I got this ring. I just bent over and shoe in my asshole and then... Hey, we were married. Oh, they are so heavy. That is really heavy. So this is what the box looks like. I love this box, actually. I haven't had demonies in so I think the last pair of demonies I got came in like a plain black box with a red lid. These have got, I don't want to open it, I'm scared. These have got um, like safety pin pattern and rivets. Lift my lid, Rhea, lift my lid. Ah. Ooh, it smells like shoes. <laughs> Oh, okay. So the lid is off and they're just in the packaging. One thing I was concerned about, because I'm so short, is I didn't want them to come uh, too high up my cup, up my leg, if that makes sense. That wouldn't be Demonia's fault, that would be my mum and dad's fault because I'm short ass. They look like they might be alright, maybe slightly higher than up my leg than I would have liked. Oh, that's not, no, that is heavy. That's heavier than I would usually go for for everyday shoes. Bit of a waste of plastic here, Demonia, but I'll let you off. Oh, as they come in Demonia printed paper, it's good to know that these haven't been returned by someone. If they've been returned, you don't get all this stuff. You don't, you don't get the paper, you don't get the plastic because someone's already opened it. Oh! <laughs> wow. I don't know why. I thought the hearts on the front were just silver. They are iridescent. I don't know if I like that actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I love the white stitching at the bottom, that contrast. I really, really like, okay. Oh, zip up the back. I did know they had a zip, that's why I wanted them. So I couldn't be fannying about with buckles all day. And the buckles are, they are completely, forgot what I was gonna say. They are completely adjustable. So hopefully they will fit my, oh, I love these little stubby toes that Demonia boots have because I'm not into witchy pointy shoes. I love them. I love them on other people, but they don't shoot me in my stature. But a little stubbiness, stub look, it just holding it up. Do you see what I mean? Stubbiness suits me. So these are, I think these are called the Emily 330. We have a 2319 and they have iridescent hearts on the front. I thought they were silver so that's quite a nice surprise i think i would have preferred them to be silver to be honest but that you know it's not the end of the world i can always paint them if i get angry about it they're vegan as well they they don't smell like cows look at that this is what right i'm gonna go on a rant now a good rant for demonia this is one thing that i hate about kill star shoes disturbious women's boots as well like their high heels not so much their trainer boots because i got ben some trainery ones for christmas and they're really wide but killstar especially to be fair i haven't had killstar boots in a long long time so they may have changed but they were so narrow that when you put your foot down you, my foot would go like this like i've been drinking till four o'clock in the morning <laughs> what a great night guys i love you i love you Blah, flop. i did actually fall on my face i had my killstar 
uh, their platform trainers when they had just come out and I cut the malice boots I think they were called had them on in town and I just dropped my door off at nursery and I was walking down walk I had my music on I felt oh, fantastic I only went and fell on my fucking face didn't I and then a car saw me and started laughing but obviously like I can laugh at myself so I was laughing too and then I carried on walked through town and I was very nervous because I, I knew oh hold on these aren't as stable as I thought they were and I carried on walked through town and I had a little trip then I didn't fall straight on my I didn't fall flat on my face again but I had a little trip I don't know if it's just because I'm not dainty enough or I'm stubby but I found Killstar and Disturbia women's shoes to be very narrow and I just did this this is wide this is chunky this is thicker than my hand guys thicker than my hands for that alone I am impressed. They are size five and I am size five. Let's the other one. Let's make sure there's two in here. A left and a right one. Oh, that one feels heavier than this one. That is definitely heavier. Is there like a pot of gold in this one? Hello, Rhea Ripley, notice me. I have a left and a right. How easy would that be though if you were just like both left footed? Because you know how shoe shops have their shoes outside? They always put like the left, it's always the left one, isn't it? But you'd be able to run past and grab to you grab free shoes can't you so first impressions I love them like I have my new rocks but I tend to wear them because 90% of the time I'm a mom I'm doing mum stuff I'm doing grown-up stuff I'm doing school runs listening to the other mums talk bitch about the other mums and uh and I tend to wear them like when I'm going out with my friends and if I'm going clubbing if I'm going to dip down to pub then I will wear my new rocks just for the school run I just wear little boots so it's nice to have a pair of knee-high boots and and ones that look like they're gonna do well for the everyday school run as well so we've talked about aesthetics we've talked about my big fat legs so we've talked about the how much I wish that was silver so let's try them on oh I've got a cramp plus I don't know how tall Rhea Ripley is but Mr. Motionless is like six foot I don't know I know he's over a foot taller than me so when we have our first kiss it is, I'm gonna need like big platforms because it is gonna be me going uh, I don't have any socks on but luckily I am next to my sock drawer pumpkin socks because you know aesthetics I would show you my feet but got paid for that content got all like ferret hair stuck to my legs now oh no that's my hair I need to shave my legs pumpkin sock on Oh my god, that's so small. Why is my foot not going in? My foot's not even going through the back. What? My feet aren't that giganterous. Never mind. <gasps> Take two. Oh, oh my god, that's really hard. That's so that's re that's quite uncomfortable. <laughs> like just I'm used to squidgy insoles of like Dog Martens or New Rocks. That is really hard. Zip up. I'm gonna have to do these buckles because my um me, me, me legs are above average. Three hours later. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me lower my camera so you can see. These fit really well, like really, really, really well. And they don't go as far up my leg, like as I thought they were going to. I thought they were gonna come to about here. They're there, oh my God. Orgasm intensifies. I'm gonna pop the other one on. I'll have a little walk around and then we'll see how how well, how comfy they really are. sweaty from walking around my house because I'm so unhealthy so I have a couple of cons like first impression cons but I do have a lot of pros like literally just first impressions these could fall apart after five minutes but my first impressions the sole feels very look, they're already just messy from my house the sole feels very uh, tough like it's not it feel it's rubber but it's not like koi footwear shoes where they they feel a bit cheaper and that platform is really stuck in there like I'm not trying to pull it apart but I am because if they're faulty I want to know now before I wear these to bloodstock and 
lose my shoes in the mud. But that feels like that is on there. I touched upon bloodstock just there, and I can't wait to touch upon bloodstock properly because I've not left the house in a year. They feel quite hard inside. Like I would definitely need a need some insoles, some shawl foot insoles in there just to make them squidgier because that does, like there is the slightest squidge. Look, now my fan's gonna blow my hair and I'm gonna be like in a shampoo advert because you're worth it. I'm really not, love. The insole is very, like it's the tiniest, tiniest bit of squidge but I would definitely need that. Uh, you'll definitely need insoles or something to be able to wear these all the freaking time. Um, but that's fine, you can get insoles for like a fiver off eBay, that's where I usually get mine from. Because they're like 20 quid in the shops. Just stay still mate, your job is to blow. I know it ain't that hard. What else, what else? They, they've already kind of creased. That's the problem with vegan leather, it's uh, well that's the problem with real leather as well. But vegan leather is essentially plastic. They have already creased literally from me just wearing them around my house for five minutes. That's not a bad thing, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't send them back over that. They're gonna have deep crease marks in them very, very soon, and I know some people don't like that about their boots. Uh, what else? The zip feels very strong, like that is, I can do that with one hand as well. I know like some zips are quite tough, you need two, nah, one hand it maybe. Oh, and also, I don't know if this is just because I have beautifully shaped legs, um, but because I had to change, uh, I think it's, one of them is really obvious on, maybe it's this one. Because I had to change the buckle pattern, it's made the hearts not in a straight line anymore. It's hard to tell when they're off, but when they were on my legs, I noticed that the hearts weren't in a beautiful straight line. But hey ho, life's more fun when you're not straight. I have to put these on and make additional holes between these holes, just so I can keep those hearts in a straight line. Apart from that, like, that's not really a big deal that, you know, I don't think anyone would notice, it's just me. I, I'm a bit of a perfectionist with some random, random, random things. Apart from that, I think the biggest thing was the insole. I, my feet hurt very, very quickly, and I need I need soft and squidgy and cushy soles, baby. I will definitely be getting some insoles for these. Providing they don't fall apart after one use, I'm, I'm chuffed. I am... Keith Chegwin in the Asda aisle screaming because they've got pop tarts in stock. Chuffed. The, the hearts are growing on me quite a lot. I don't know why I thought they were silver. They kind of look silver online. They probably said that they weren't silver, but they looked silver. But now that I, but they are really growing on me. I'm so glad that they're called Emily as well because that's literally why I saw them. I, 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 I don't think I'd have looked at them twice if they were called like the Sandra Boots or the Stacy the Stacy platforms. It's because they were Emily. I was like, oh, let me click on you. I'm I'm gonna bear in mind that I have heard some things about Demonia lately that they have that they do fall apart and that, like I said, I didn't pay for these. So, but they feel very. They feel good. They feel. I don't know if they feel 120 pound good but they feel good. This bit kind of feels a bit cheap now that I'm talking about it. Not super cheap, but not 120 quid. But the platform, that feels solid and it's got extra platform. Can you see this layer of thick rubber at the bottom? So when this layer when this layer wears away, it's easier to get them fixed at a cobbler because it won't be in this platform. So the rubber bit will wear away first and you can easily get that fixed without damaging the actual platform. All in all, I'd say, oh, what should we give you out of 10? What should we give you out of 10? You're not having 10, mate, don't look at me like that. Eight, I'm gonna say eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 caps for the beautiful Emily boots. Demonia, I feel like we need a pair, we need a boo collaboration. Let's do boo boots. <gasps> let's do the boo 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 boots. Everyone at Demonia, let's make Emily boo, Emily boots. Boo Boots. Emily, what, there is definitely a catchy name in there somewhere. Emily Boo. Tss, that's boring. Emily Booby Boots. Emily Booby Boots! Let's come on, Devonia, let's do it. I think 120 quid is maybe a little bit too much. If they last, then they're definitely worth that. But just I'm just being a bit wary because of what I've heard about Demonia's shoes lately. Now that I have them, I do plan on wearing them to Bloodstock, which is a five-day metal festival. I can't wait. So I've got like a few weeks to wear them in properly. 
They didn't hurt my feet though. Like when you put Doc Martens on for the first time and you take three steps and you feel, you feel the back of your ankles sliced open like that scene in Hostel. I'm just so happy, I haven't had new boots in so long. <laughs> it's like that scene in, Tar in Disney's Tarzan. I am your mother now. <laughs> Ben's gonna get one hell of a shag later, so. Awesome. So that's my review, unboxing, little try on thing of my new Emily Demonia boots. Had I have paid 120 quid, I would have still given the same review, but I would have said that they are not, I don't think they're worth 120 quid. A like 100 tops. I'd say more like 90 quid. I, even that, I'm a cheapskate now. 20 quid. <laughs> I, I don't think they're worth 120 quid. That's for, that's that that's the bottom line. But we'll see. But that's my review, try on everything, my little rant, my little like Rhea Ripley new fascination. <laughs> I don't know what this was. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway, guys. These are my brand new everyday boots, yeah. Yoo-hoo! Because I'm a blowout. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna take off five pounds off my order because that heart is scratched. You won't be able to see it on my camera. One of the hearts has like a scratch down it. Do you think I can complain and get my money back? <laughs> they are just unwearable. I would love to know if you have these boots and if they have lasted. But also if you have Demonia boots in general, have they lasted you? Do you think they're worth the money? Have some, ha let, let everyone know in the comments below because these, I try to do these videos to help you guys. If they're, if I wouldn't spend the money on it, I don't want you to spend the money on it. I don't think these are worth 120 quid. If you can get them on Depop, I'd say like 80, 90 tops. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to Bloodstock, check out the link in the description below. Me and my friend Anna are setting up a Bloodstock meetup. Let's hang out. Let's make TikToks. Oh my God, I'm gonna do so many Bloodstock TikToks. Now I've said that, I won't do a single one. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my Patreon if you can. Patreon helps me out so freaking much and it helps me be able to make more content for you guys and be here to just spread the love, spread the weirdness and carry on this amazing community that we have built. I just felt a sudden rush of love. But that's it guys, I'll see you fairly soon with another video. Much love boobs, take care of yourself and most of all, stay weird.